Hi, welcome back to the next video about Antispice and build your own mods in Antispice. If you have not watched the first video in this series, please refer to it in the video description. Since it's only a continuation, I won't talk again what happened last time. But as a summary, in the previous video, we talk about how to import or not import, how to create the MOSFET model. For ourselves, we create the parameters ourselves, the length, the width, and everything ourselves in Eltisvice. Please check it out. And after you create the MOS model yourself in Eltisvice and you build the appropriate configuration for the MOS, we can start to analyze it. In this case, we are talking about the common source resistive drain or resistive load. Either way, if you don't understand what's happening in this slide, also refer to the cadence video I explained about theory of common source resistive drain in that video I put the video in the vi in this video description please check it out okay in this case we can see that um, uh, we are given with some of the parameters and as you could see that I already specified our length and the width here in the previous video I got a mistake in pronouncing the unit for the length and the width they are not micro ohm they actually micro width micrometer sorry micrometer micrometer and the length is one micrometer the width is 12.96 micrometer in order to know about the default unit of those parameters also prefer to my previous video where I put the uh, link of the ATS I have for the monolithic MOSFET where they specify every information for those parameters like the unit and everything, default unit. So they give us the length of one micrometer and we need to find the width and according to those steps we found out that the width should be 12.96 micrometer in order to in order to bring our MOS in such a bias point DC or quiescent bias point with the drain current and uh, drain voltage of those values specified in the question and here we are given with the uh, product of the mobility times the oxide capacitance which is this one value 349 micro this unit and you can see we specified it here also KB means this product and the KB has its name or has its definition as the uh, transconductance coefficient and the uh, zero bias threshold it doesn't shown here but uh, if you really want to understand it also check out my previous video I put the link to a good preference where you can check it and because they say they need to have the over voltage of uh, 0.2 and here we here we put the gate voltage DC at 0.6 in order to have the over voltage over voltage means the difference between the gate voltage and the threshold voltage and in this case, we don't have any bulk effect, so our threshold voltage is equal to the zero bias threshold voltage, which is roughly like 0 0.4. So to have the over vo overdrive voltage, we need to cut the difference between the gate voltage and this threshold voltage. 0 0.2, it means here we have 0 0.6, so we need to specify the threshold voltage to be 0 0.4 to obtain the difference 0 0.2 volt and the uh, VDD here is the our VDD which is a uh, voltage supply which is 1.8 volt and also they say gate voltage to be 0 0.6 you can see uh, okay now we can start to analyze the uh, operating point of this configuration we can maximize the window here we choose dot op or you can open this one in another way and then we control click help me analysis command we choose DC operating point where they say DC operating point treatment then we'll compute the DC operating point DC operating point means the DC value of the current of the voltage of each node or at each Y so we just press OK we put it here and after that we go to simulate and we run here we obtain our um, 
operating point, you can see that it's pretty tough to understand what is the voltage of what is this node, where is this node, where are these nodes, right? Or we can close it and then we name the node ourselves by using the label or the net name. We put the like V drain here. This is the drain of our mouse and we can just temporarily put it there and right click to change it to V gate. Okay, here we also want to name this Y to be VDD. Okay, good. Um, now we press escape and we run the simulation again. Now when we run the simulation again with the name, it's pretty easy to know, okay, the voltage, uh, which now this is the voltage at the drain of 0 0.7 in the requirement. We want to obtain the voltage, the drain voltage around like 0 0.6, a little bit different, a little bit different. And uh, yeah, so not too much, but acceptable in my case. In this case, I think it's acceptable to to get the feeling to tuition of what's happening here. So it's acceptable. Uh, for the drain voltage, we want to have the DC drain voltage of around like 100 microampere. And what we obtain, we obtain around like here, you can see ID of M1. M1 is the name of our component, which is our MOS and MOS. And the uh, voltage here is 88 microampere. Not bad at all. Not too bad, right? Okay, so that's it. That's the end of this video. In the next video, I will start to check the small signal analysis. The especially what we emphasize on will be the gain of this circuit at low frequency. In order to understand the theory behind that, please check it out the cadence theory part of the common source resistive load that I put in this video description. Check it out before you watch the next video. And thank you so much for watching. If you find something wrong, please give me a comment. And if you find it helpful or useful in any case, please give me a like or subscribe. And see you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.